it's pretty impressive to follow in the footsteps of some of these migratory animals and get a better understanding of the scale in which these migrations occur. My name is Travis Safarano. I grew up in Cody, Wyoming, right on the edge of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. We're here at my mom's house where all of the decor is elk or anything elk related. My mom is what you would call an alcoholic. First, we gotta start with the elk door knocker, of course. And as you walk in, you'll notice this guy greets you at the front door. Pretty much anything that you can imagine with elk on it, my mom owns. We got elk on the counters. We got elk on the walls. We even got elk on the shower curtains. You can just see how infected we are with buck fever as soon as you walk into the house. I was always interested in wildlife and now I'm a wildlife biology graduate student at the University of Wyoming. I started this project in the fall of 2014 and started putting cameras out with Game and Fish. This is Sunlight Basin. It's a really important winter range for a lot of elk that migrated out of Yellowstone National Park from Lamar Valley. Today we're out hiking to check some of the trail cameras I have on a migration corridor. My study uses trail cameras to count and classify the number of bulls, cows, and calves in each migratory elk herd. This information helps Wyoming Game and Fish get a better handle on how many animals there are in each of these herds and when they're migrating into and out of the park. Biologists normally count all these animals by flying in planes or helicopters in aerial surveys. My study is showing that trail cameras positioned in choke points or bottlenecks along the migration corridor can be an additional tool for classifying these elk herds. There's always a feeling of excitement when you first look at the images on these cameras because you never know what kind of images you're going to get. Sometimes you'll get shots of uh, predators like bears, wolves, mountain lions, or the occasional wolverine, which is always exciting. Through the use of these cameras, we're learning more about the composition of these herds, but we're also learning about the timing of migration of individuals and are looking forward to being able to use this as a tool for management in the future. I feel privileged to be able to work with some of the elk herds that I grew up with. This landscape is the reason I went into wildlife management in the first place. These are the mountains where I learned to hunt and to fish and to appreciate wildlife at its intrinsic value.